Now this is going to be a very short video, I hope. Um, the reason for this is, as I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers by the name Jake Frio on YouTube, I came across one really interesting video that he had made. Now it was about five ways to be a digital minimalist and basically what he was doing in this video, he just talked about some of the ways he found that he could implore to make him more effective in his creativity. Now, Jake Few is a skateboarder, a filmmaker, guy literally just moved out into a camper van, rides mountain bikes, basically he does a lot of things that I am doing and some of which I hope to do. Anyway, you can go check him out on YouTube. Now, I related with this video because for a long while I had been struggling, especially in this season, with just how to stay on track to maintain reading my bible every day just grow spiritually i was struggling so much before this whole season i was always so busy i never took time into my personal devotion i kept postponing each day so i was able to just see the wisdom in what this youtuber was talking about and how i can actually apply it one in my productivity and maybe someone else's out there who might be um, struggling as well or had struggled with such. So ways I, saw I could apply to is my productivity as far as filmmaking is concerned and as well as my spiritual life. So I'm going to combine the two aspects in this video. Before that, let's roll the intro. Hi, my name is Kelvin Murage and I'm a pro skateboarder. If this is your first time, please be sure to check out my previous videos um, where I talk about um, the gospel and a few other issues as well. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button as well just to get notified every time I do post a new video. Let's get back right into it. So I'll try to list um, a few of the things that he um, spoke about. And um, I'm going to try to move them and also just give my perspective as well from what I've learned as well in this season on just how to both stay productive as I was saying earlier and also just how I've found it helpful even in my spirituality. Now, in one, I think most of us, if not all of us, and this is nothing new to us, but social media has been quite a distraction. So I'm going to list down a few things that I got from him and also just try to morph them together with um, what I have learned in this season as well. So from the number one thing I think that affects so many of us is our mobile phones. As you know, helpful they are, there's so much that can be done the, with them, but at the same time, they've also produced some pretty um, negative effects, side effects from that as well. Let's dive right into it. Social media. I think this is a struggle that's not um, new to maybe a lot of us. And this includes even WhatsApp and I mean even vital applications for communication as well. When we got into this season, one of the things I really struggled with was reading my Bible every day. For the longest time, I always uh, desired to read the entire Bible. And just every time I would get up in the morning, I would say today, I'm not the first thing that I'm going to look at is my Bible app and not um, social media and for a very long time that was never the case I would always just find myself wandered into WhatsApp and Instagram and you know before I knew it like several hours were gone of my day and after that I wasn't really in a mood to um, just continue with my study and I struggled with this for quite a while and until eventually I did come across you know, a Bible plan and I decided you know what I need a Bible plan and this is something that would really help just doing the, the whole Bible in one year. It didn't matter whether I was we, we were just in the middle of the year, but I just went on with it. It started out well and then the usual. My phone kept kept in the way. Um, notifications, messages, and sometimes I just find myself wondering and just finding myself in Instagram and before I knew it, hours and hours 
I just passed and I didn't actually complete uh, the task that I had actually set out to do. So coming back to what Jake Few, um, I hope I'm actually getting his name right. Hmm. Well, he gave five um, ways in which he found helpful and I really thought that this is something that I could actually apply on myself as well. Now, given that we use our phones so much and almost everything, now it's recommendable that if you can actually use your physical Bible, I think it will be way much more beneficial for you. And even with that, you still need, especially if your phone is near you, you do need a way to just make sure that your phone is not a distraction to you. Now one, I think most phones these days do come equipped with things like, it's called downtime hours, whereby you can just um, set your phone that at a particular time, you can just, just shut off everything, disconnect from the internet and from all these apps, and you know, you're not able to access social media or anything. Now for him, he said every one hour before his usual sleeping time, he would actually do this and he would spend that one hour not accessing social media and just maybe reading a book or writing his thoughts or just thinking. And I thought for me, this is a time I could use to actually read my Bible, meditate on what the day has been about and just maybe some of the readings and maybe even actually read a book that will actually help me in my spirituality or any other aspect of life. Now, another thing was disabling notifications. Notifications, I think, are just the most, the monster of distraction. And I've never really thought so much about it until when he talked about it and it actually hit me like, yeah, every time I found myself wandering off to other apps away from my Bible app or from my study was because a notification came in and especially from WhatsApp. Another one was disabling, okay, when watching videos, let's say YouTube, for example, just being able to disable autoplay whereby, you know, YouTube is not suggesting the next video and just automatically sucking you into there, especially Netflix whereby unless you actually want to binge watch the whole season or whatever show you're watching disabling autoplay can really help whereby you're the one who's choosing when to play next what to play next and whether you actually want you to proceed or not so so youtube netflix all these other apps um i actually hadn't thought about that and i think it's a really good idea and may, maybe we could actually start even by now you know just disabling autoplay so that the next video doesn't um, play. Another thing he talked about that really felt difficult but very possible, but definitely speaking from creator's perspective, he talked about taking a day off social media and I think that can really be helpful, more like a digital detox kind of thing. Now some of the ways I found as well that I could apply this in my um, spiritual life, I I had stopped just using my no, my main phone for the Bible plan, and you know you can maybe have a laptop, uh, another tablet or something. And I'm, I I think if you find yourself still struggling with just disabling everything and you know those notifications or even airplane mode or focus mode, just use an alternative device and not your main phone you know you don't have to worry about being tempted now another thing i noticed um, that comes even with ios and android phones is you can be able to check how much of each app you're consuming in a day and be able to tell how much time you're spending in each one of them and i think in android it's parental control i think it's a very good feature that can help you even just put yourself on a leash so to see nah, that sounds a bit yeah, well, we can do that. Put yourself on a leash and just make sure that you're not over consuming one app that you actually should be doing. So, yeah, hoping I've kept this video as short as possible. And um, thank you for tuning in. The South Africa vlog should be coming up very soon, still being edited. And the next episode as well. So, this was just like more of a mid midweek or just weekend. Just mid snack, mid snack something or whatever. So stay tuned and you know, if you like whatever I'm sharing here, please don't forget to subscribe. Give me a, give me a thumbs up and you can leave a comment below as well and see you on the next one.